Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Mellow Yellow. Okay, that was an easy way of playing mellow yellow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make it more complicated, kind of mimic what they're actually doing uh, in just a moment. All right, so that was the easy way to do it. So if you're a beginner, that's that's the one for you. All right, fast forward if you want something more complicated. All right, so we need a D chord, fourth string, third string, second string, second fret. Okay, uh, we need a G chord, uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. Uh, we need an A chord, 4th uh, string 2nd fret, 3rd string 1st fret, that's our easy A chord. We have more complicated ones coming up. Alright, and then we need a G7, 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd string 2nd, and 1st string 2nd. That's your G7. We need an A7, that's the 3rd string 1st fret, and that's all you need. Alright, so that's it for the easy version for all the chords, okay? So now let's go over some of the stuff we're doing. Some of, a lot of this will apply to the harder version too. So our strum pattern, uh, most of the songs in 4-4 time, there is one bar of 2-4 time that they throw in there and that's what <clears throat> screws you up. Alright, so 4-4 four, four time, so we got a D chord, we're going to go down, 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 up. Pretty simple. Down. Down, 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 up. Just like that. Alright, so you start with a D chord, you got a D chord to a G chord. D to an A. G to G7 to an A. Make it an A7. D, G to A, we'll go over that strum in a moment, D, G to an A, and then D to a G, and then A7, okay? So let's go over it in a little bit more detail. When we get to that G and A that are closer together, they share a measure, I'm just going down, down, up, so I just cut it almost in half. So down, down, up, and then down, down, up on the A. So it's like, just like that. Okay, hopefully you can catch on. All right, so now let's, now I'm going to instead, now I'm going to stop and explain things. So we've got a D chord to a G, D to the A, Everything's still the same. A to the A7. And then the D chord. And here comes the, the little spot where G and A share a measure. So it's like G, A. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up on a G and an A. Okay? Then you do your D chord again. And then the G to the A share a measure again. Then D again. And now right here, this is a G chord that is only two beats, so it's going to be down, down, up, just like that. Next you have the A7. So this chord gets two measures. It's the first chord that gets two measures in the song, and it happens to be the end of the, end of the cycle. They just keep repeating this uh, uh, progression uh, throughout the whole song. Okay. So now let's make it a little bit more complicated, a little bit more like what the guitar is doing, okay? Uh, let's give you the chords in advance so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to, uh, instead of doing this A chord the first time you hear it, I'm going to do a bar chord like this. So what I do is I'm going to bar the whole 4th fret, 2nd uh, string 5th fret, 4th string 6th fret, just like that. I got that shape and I'm going to do it at the 4th fret, 
the third fret and the second fret. So that's going to be an A to an A flat to a G. So it's the same uh, fingering for all of it. Okay? So you bar the whole fourth fret, second string, fifth fret, fourth string, sixth fret. Then when you go to the A flat, it's you're barring the third fret, you got the second string, fourth fret, and the fourth string, fifth fret. And then you're barring the second fret. You've got the second string, third fret, the fourth string, fourth fret. That's a G chord. Okay? So you're going to notice that when it comes in. Uh, the only other change is the last chord, the A7 chord, which happens last in the song. We're going to do a different strum pattern on it. And uh, it sounds like this. Uh, sorry. That kind of mimics what the whole band is doing. And so what we're doing there is uh, it's triplets. So it's down, up, down, and you do that one, two, three, four, eight times. So down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. Difficult, but it's a good one to practice. This is a pretty easy song, and it's a good thing. We want to get better at that, and it'll be in more complicated songs, so it's a good song to practice that. Okay, so and then uh, going back to this bar chord part, the strum pattern is going to be a little different. Uh, when I go to the fourth fret, the A chord, I'm going to go down, 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 up. Then I go to the third fret, and I go down, up. And then the G is down, 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 up, just like all the other chords were. So it sounds like. Okay. So let me run through the song with all those complicated things now. You got a D chord, a G, D, run through it and I'll talk this time. So you got a D chord to a G, D to the bar chord A, A flat to G, to G7, regular A to an A7, D to G and A and D. sense and uh, please subscribe hit like if you would nobody ever hits like why not um, and uh, play more uh, play more ooh.